So, um, Errol Spence is once again, this is the second time in a week now, Brian Castaño's called out Errol Spence for a fight. Um, Errol Spence is a fucking fat weight bully that fights men half his size. He's fought little Mikey, fat little Mikey Garcia, who I'm not too fond of either, if you guys remember. For my old channel, I used to ro roast Mikey Garcia all the time for calling big names out and never fighting anybody. But regardless, he was half his size. Um, Sean Porter, same thing. He's stockier, but he's shorter. He's smaller than him. Pacquiao, he ducked. And he's half his size and 43 years of age. Brian Castaño is telling... Basically, in a nutshell, what Brian Castaño is saying is if your husband, Jamel Charlo, is too pussy to run it back with me, then I'll fight your pussy ass. And I'm going to guarantee you something right now. Of course, Errol Spence won't even take this fight because he's too much of a fucking pussy. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if Errol Spence were to, fought, were to fight Brian Castaño, he would get not five years down the line so he can get old or any shit like that. If he were to fight Brian Castaño in the relatively near future, he would get absolutely destroyed. See, I, this, I, I have to tip my hat to Brian Castaño. Because not only did he beat Jamel Charlo, get robbed, and should, have, should be undisputed junior middleweight champion of the world right now. And it's not called Super Walter Waite. Super Walter Waite is a Fugazi name made up by PBC cocksuckers. It's called Junior Fucking Middleweight. Now, anyhow, the first time I ever heard Junior or Super Walter Waite right, use was when Canelo fought Floyd. I was watching boxing for fucking 20 years before that. They never called it Super Walter Waite. Now, Brian Castagno, see, Brian, I have to praise Brian Castagno. Because Danny Garcia is another one. He's been chanting all this shit about, oh, I'm going to be champion at 154. You just watch. I'm going to be champion at 154 with this crack-smoking, dick-riding daddy. All right? And Brian Castanio says, well, come up here. I'll give you a shot. I'll give you a shot. Danny, silent. Nothing. You've heard nothing from him. So I want to tip my hat to Brian Castaño for calling out both of these two fairies. Um, a real, another one, of the, another one of the last real fighters out there. Willing to fight anybody, whoever, whenever, wherever. <sighs> and don't give a fuck. Now... And I'm going to guarantee you, because both of these two dudes ain't going to take that fight. They, they don't have the balls to fight Brian Castaño because they know what will happen to him. But I will guarantee you that if Brian Castaño were to ever get fucking Danny, Danny Boy or Errol in the ring, I guarantee you he would smash them, either one of them. Guarantee fucking teed you. If you guys remember... Uh, this is one of the first videos I posted on this new channel here. My Castaño Charlo prediction was that Charlo was going to win by a fucking robbery or a controversial decision. And it was a bullshit draw. Castaño won that fight, people. Um, so, Charlo, man the fuck up and take the rematch for Undisputed. You're ducking your own. Charlo's ducking his own legacy. There's nobody else to blame but for himself. Um, but yeah, if, 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 if your husband Charlo's too much of a pussy to get back in there with Castaño, then yes, yeah, Spence, let's see you fight somebody your own size for a change. And this pound for pound shit will all fall by the wayside because you don't fight men your own size. You only fight little people and gatekeepers like Danny. So let's see if you got, got what it takes to actually be a bomb pound for pound fighter, which you fucking don't. You never have been a pound for pound fighter, and you never fucking will be. Neither neither one of the Charlos would never will never ever.
ever be on the pound for poundless. They don't have the talent, the heart, the balls, or anything to make it onto that fucking list, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, somebody like uh, Mirajan Akhmadaliyev is higher than him because he had the balls to fight two guys in the top five back-to-back. -back. Lomachenko's higher than Spence, both the Charlos, easily. I, I, if you want to debate with that, hit me up. Let me know. Let me know, son. And... uh so let's see if you got what, what it takes to actually be a pound for pound fighter and not fight men that are smaller than you, Spence, since your husband Charlo's too scared to get back in there with Brian. Motherfucker. Hit the like and, and subscribe, people. I told you, motherfuckers, when I got, got back to YouTube, I was coming back cracking fucking heads, dog. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Hit the fucking like and subscribe, goddammit. Salute, everybody.